My name is Kimberly Orr, and I'm a summer research intern in the Data Intensive Scientific Computing RU at Notre Dame University. This summer, I worked in the Complex Networks Lab, where we develop methods for analyzing complex networks. Networks are mathematical tools that we use to model interactions between things. We can create networks to model social interactions, flights, computer systems, aging, and much more. One way to analyze these networks is to compare them to other networks. For example, if we want to study patterns of communication, we can compare a network that shows people's interactions through text messages to a network that shows people's interactions through email to see if their interactions through both mediums are similar or different. Right now, there are several methods that we can use to find the similarity between static networks or networks that don't change over time. However, most real-world networks evolve over time. This means that parts of the graph might appear and disappear as time progresses. We call these evolving networks temporal networks. Due to their complexity, temporal networks are difficult to study. So how do we compare temporal networks? One solution is to model temporal networks as static networks by aggregating all the temporal events into one static network. Then we can apply static methods of comparison to the aggregated network. However, when doing this, it's possible that two networks that are temporally different can be modeled as the same aggregate static network. In this case, comparing the static versions will fail because the two aggregated networks will be identified as similar when the two networks are actually different. Clearly, we need a better solution. This summer, I've been working with my advisor, Dr. Tiana Milinkovic, to develop dynamic graphic correlation distance, which is a new method for comparing temporal networks. We generalize a leading static method, graphlet correlation distance, into its dynamic counterpart. Static graphlet correlation distance uses graphlets, or small subgraphs, to examine and quantify the overall structure of the networks. We can then use this to quantify the similarity between the networks. Instead of static graphlets, dynamic graphlet correlation distance uses dynamic graphlets to examine the structure of temporal networks. This eliminates the need to aggregate temporal networks into a single static network and reduces the chance that the method of comparison will falsely classify two networks as similar when they're temporally different. When we evaluate dynamic graphlet correlation distance on synthetic temporal networks from social and biological domains, we find that our method is much more effective for determining the similarity between temporal networks than current methods. If we find that dynamic graphlet correlation distance is effective on real-world networks, it will allow temporal networks to be studied more accurately, leading to a better understanding of the world around us.